creativity is using what you have to create something new and beautiful. A combination of multiple people coming up with new ideas that other people can then feed off and expand upon. The sound was just something that I just gravitated towards. Uh, plus, I like knobs. You know, ever since the dawn of sound on movies, it's been dialogue that has really helped to, you know, elevate movie making into a supreme art form for storytelling. Sound can work in mercurial ways that picture can't. It's got this wonderful way of sneaking in through the back door and people don't really understand they're being told. It's magic stuff. With Soul, we had to create all these different worlds. You had the great beyond and you had New York City. And, and then you had the astral plane. Joe is like in his own world, but he's so used to New York City that none of that phases him. One of the interesting things that happened with Mank in terms of that is that I think that there had been this sense of the trajectory of sound and film. The, the spatialization of sounds to the left and right and above and behind us. All the things that we can do now, David didn't want to do. He wanted to say, yeah, that's great for a modern film, but I want to I want to take us back. I really did love little subtle stuff that I took time to play with, like in the cabin. It's not usually stuff I want to bring people's attention to, but it was fun to work on. It's kind of this little musical element, and I and I think I hope subliminally it brings people into the into the atmosphere with some kind of emotional color. That main character relies a lot on sound, and eventually he gets uh, into a situation where he cannot rely on that anymore. I, I'm really proud that this film is nominated for sound because I think it's, it's a very silent film. We didn't get like millions of dollars to do the, the sound, but the way we work together is something I'm really proud of. The marriage of, of those ideas and how the story is told and the script and the photography and everything comes together, I think that's why it can become so powerful. When we're looking at the scene, we're still building in terms of frequencies, choosing different elements that are doing different parts of a job, just like you would in music, you're still choosing something that's got rhythm or something that's got um, something defined in the top. There are very few jobs you get to do in movies where you have to sit with the filmmaker. In order for them to hear what we hear, they have to sit next to us to see the movie through their eyes and, and, and experience it in its absolute final form and just put that little sprinkle on top. My thoughts about the future of sound in film is as long as we want humans to tell stories, the human voice will always need to be recorded. You know, I don't think it matters what technological advances that, that we make. Sound is a very technology driven industry and we're always waiting for the next thing to come out. I think this last year of, of pandemic and all that sort of stuff has, has shifted our focus so much more now at home to make that still feel uh, big like the theater is a real challenge. I really hope that the future of sound for movies is people seeing and hearing movies back in theaters. The visceral experience you get when you get to hear any film the way we get to hear it is so above and beyond whatever you could do at home. Getting back to theaters and really immersing yourself is something that I really hope that is what happens in the very near future.